So I'm going to tell you three things that you can do with your snowboard bindings to make them work better for you. Number one, ladders. Lots of people complain about chewing up their ladders. This is a habit that people do. They get to the top of the ski lift and they start cranking and cranking and cranking. And this is what causes the ladders to chew, this behavior. You want to get it snug and then stop cranking. The other thing you want to do to make sure your ladders don't get chewed up is you want to adjust your bindings correctly so that your strap is perfectly centered over your boot and that your buckle assembly is halfway down your ladder, not at the very bottom, not at the very top. You want it to be exactly halfway down. And when you have it adjusted properly, it's going to wear on the ladders much, much less. Number two, choosing the right size binding for your boot. Now, a lot of people want to know if they have a size 10 and a half boot in a certain brand, should they have a medium binding or large binding? The general rule is go upsize if you're not sure. Um, that's because lots of different brands of boots have different volumes to them. Some of them are quite chunky and bulky and they, they fit very snug in a medium binding. So if you're at that 10, 10 and a half and you got a big boot, you want to go upsize and get a large size binding. The third thing that you can do to make sure your bindings work better for you is to adjust them properly from the first day you mount them to your board. Use the stance locators on the snowboard itself and also use the adjustments on the disc of the binding and the adjustments that are on the binding itself, whether it has an aluminum heel cup that you can slide in and out. You really want to center your foot and boot over the board so that you have equal toe drag to heel drag. And if you do those three things, you're going to have a better performing board and more fun on the hill.